What's up, everyone? It's Phil Jones, and joining me is Cam Valentine. Cam, how are you? Outstanding. How about yourself? Good. And we are back talking about gaming on a projector. In this video series, sponsored by BenQ, we're going to be covering really cool games that are great to play on a projector and how it's so much more immersive and so much more entertaining than playing it on an itty bitty gaming display. Today, we're going to be talking about a new game. Cam. What game are we talking about today? Elden Ring. Well, the game is about you as a character. You are a tarnished, and then it's your job to go into the lands in between and become the Elden Lord. You're trying to reclaim your lands. So it's an awesome game. Came out February 25th of this year, and it's the best game I have played okay. thus far. So what game systems is it available on? It's across all platforms, so that includes PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, mm -hmm. and the PC. Okay. So if you really want to take full advantage of these games, the latest game systems are going to be better. Now, what projector did you use? For this one, we chose to use the BenQ X3000i mm -hmm. because it has a role-playing game mode in it mm -hmm. that makes the cinematic experience more elevated, mm -hmm. really brings you into the game, colors pop, and it's tailor-made for a game like Elden Ring. Okay, so it has like this, like you said, a role-playing mode to, to try to optimize the experience. It has other modes in it too, right? Yes, it has FPS, which is a first-person shooter mode, mm -hmm. and RPG, which is role-play game mode, mm -hmm. and a SPG mode, which is a sports game mode. So can you give me some examples of some scenarios where like the bigger image on the X3000 made the experience of playing this game so much better? Oh yeah, that's, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> My samurai has a longbow mm -hmm. that you can pull back your longbow mm -hmm. and then you get your Amy reticle. Mm -hmm. And then on the <laughs> my hunter intended screen by screen innovations that I use, <laughs> your reticle <laughs> is like, you can't really see that in the camera, but I'm holding up a few inches here. Uh -huh. That's how big my aiming reticle was. So it's pretty easy to And it things. was easy to aim in and shoot my, my longbow at people. And then I also started to go into a, a little sorcery build that I'm toying with right now. Mm -hmm. And same thing, you get my little reticle. I put a little aiming where I'm gonna cast my spell locked on, put a little white dot on them. Uh -huh. You can sing your spells at them, you know exactly where it's going. It's, okay. it's pretty awesome. So you said you had how many characters you have, you have built? I have at least six. And they're all ranging from level 25, approaching <laughs> level 100. I've got way too many hours and I'm gonna admit on video <laughs> into this game but I'll tell you I have over a hundred hours into the game because I did the review just to get, to get everything understood uh -huh. and then it's one of those games when paired with a capable gaming projector like this BenQ you're pulled into it uh -huh. you're living in a movie and you get to act everything out as these characters how big is this world can you continue to play in this world for a long time it's you can be in it for hours. There are so many dungeons, catacombs, caves, castles to go into that you can spend hundreds of hours and still miss something inside the game. So we're talking about this, the, the fact that it's this big immersive world, right? Yes. With all of these different places. And the goal is to kind of make it almost like an interactive movie, right? Oh, it, yes it is. So of course when we talk about movies, you think about things like color. Is the game a colorful game? It, it's pretty colorful. It's not like a Tiny Tina's mm -hmm. Wonderlands type of thing, mm -hmm. but there's enough color in there to where a capable gaming projector, like the BenQ here, has 100% DCI P3 mm -hmm. coverage. You can really see all the, the subtle colors within the game. Okay, so like as we always talk about, when you think about gaming, there's more to, to a gaming projector than just input lag. But this has super low input lag, right? Yes. I was running 1080p at 14 point six seven, I six, think seven it milliseconds. is. So it's very responsive. But like I said, so everybody thinks about input lag first. But after you get past that, there's things like the ability to see things in the shadows, the ways you can enhance the game when it comes to video, like you talked about your role playing mode or your first person shooter modes. So all those things help to make the game playing experience better. That can give you an edge. Now on top of the the picture side of this, mm -hmm. there's also sound, right? How is the yes. sound? Is there a lot of interesting sounds going on in this game? Sounds 
sounds can kind of let you know where things are coming from as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this projector here has two five volt speakers. That's fine. So it does this artificial 3D thing for you. And I know five watt sounds was like, oh, that's lackluster, but they did really good with their five watts. Mm -hmm. And then where I, especially where I sit, the projector's in front of me and I'm kind of directly behind it. Mm -hmm. And the speakers does a pretty good job about artificially doing 3D. Mm -hmm. So I can tell if an enemy's on my right or mm -hmm. if an enemy's on my left. So mm -hmm. the, the audio is actually really good on the projector. Yeah. A lot of times people may want to take this to a different room where you don't have room for a big sound system, but you still want the sound to be immersive. But this also has eARC on it, correct? So, so tell me what eARC is. So that's your enhanced audio return channel. Mm -hmm. So let's say you don't want to use the sound system out of the projector. Mm -hmm. You want something bigger to really draw you and make it more immersive. Cause now you got this big sound stage that you're using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just plug in your capable HDMI cable, make mm -hmm. sure you get one with the proper connection. It's basically, it would be an HDMI cable that says with Ethernet or 2.1 cable, you'd be fine. Yes, and then, then you can hook it up to a, a nice surround sound system and mm -hmm. then you're really in the game. So basically you plug the game system into the projector and then the projector will take the picture from the game system and send the audio off to your your system. And by the way, a lot of these games are in surround. So if you do have a full blown surround system, like I have a theater and Cam has a theater, and you really want stuff whizzing around the room, the eARC is a great way to actually do that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the other thing we talked about is, of course you want great color. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be cinematic. Is yeah. this a 4K projector? Yes. Okay. Yes, so, it is. So how does that help with like so details and stuff? Like you talked about that little target. Right. Does the extra resolution really help you kill that? Yes, it does. The, the resolution is great. It has HDR Pro technology <laughs> and black detail enhancement technology. HDR, of course, allows you to see those bright details like in the sky as well as those small shadows in the dark areas. So HDR can really give you a gaming advantage. So if, if you have low lag, you have HDR. You have very good colors, so you can find the guy wearing green hiding behind a green tree, and you have good sound, so you hear him coming. All of those things can enhance your gaming experience. And BenQ thought about a lot of that stuff as they built this projector. Anything else about the game that really stood out to you? Everything. <laughs> the entire game is amazing. Like I said, it's, it's the best game that I've played thus far. It's very challenging, but once you put some time into it, you start learning the mechanics of the game, you'll get better at it. Have a little patience and it's gonna come to you, but you're, you're gonna die a lot and you'll lose your runes. Mm -hmm. The runes is the main thing you need to upgrade. So it's what upgrades your character's levels, mm -hmm. levels up your attributes. You can use it to buy weapons, armor, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And if you die, you drop all of it. You're at zero. zero all over again. But you have one chance. To get all your stuff back. To go back to where you died, uh -huh. and this little golden thing uh -huh. shines up and you can grab it, then you have all your runes back. But if you die before you go to pick that up, your runes are lost forever. So <laughs> now, the one thing we talk about a lot when you, when you play these games is, you know, this is kind of a one person game, right? This doesn't have like split screen or anything like that. No split screen, but you can go online and it could be a multiplier. You could do a cooperative or it could be an adversarial. So you can, you can attack people if you okay. want. You can, they call it invading uh -huh. a, another player. Uh -huh. And it's, again, Another annoying part about the game is to get used to it because I'm, I'm sitting there, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna game so I can do this review. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to run around and then I'm getting invaded and this guy is <laughs> killing me while I'm like, I got two hours into the game. Why am I getting killed by some dude who's been playing for like months? <laughs> so, yeah. So One thing we've noticed if you've ever played on a projector is the rest of the family kind of comes, looks over your shoulder. So while you're playing the interactive movie, Everybody else in the room is actually watching the movie. So playing on a projector makes the, the game a lot more social. Did, yes. Do your kids do come over and watch you and, give, oh. and yell at you about yeah. look out and all that kind of stuff? Anytime I'm doing a review, I tend to get people that come around and watch, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. You're on a big hundred tenant screen. Yeah. You got a projector running mm -hmm. and people just want to come in and watch. It's yeah. very entertaining and, and mm -hmm. tell me what I was doing wrong and to help me out. So it was really cool. Okay. <laughs> so, better gaming for you, a better social experience for everybody else that kind of wants to be drawn into what you're doing. There's, there's a lot of advantages to gaming on Projector. So, next 
time, we're going to be talking about Gran Turismo 7. The funny thing about this is Cam is normally the person that does our gaming reviews. But the one game that I've always bought from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 has been Gran Turismo. So I actually took the opportunity to play Gran Turismo. I suck at playing video games, but I love that game. And we'll talk about that game next time we are back. So thank you, Cam, for coming and hanging out with me today. And hopefully you've learned something pretty cool about Elden Ring and how cool it is to play on a projector. So take care, and we'll talk to you soon.